In this video, we're going to be looking at the new navigation functionality in version 17 of Zynet. I'm going to be using the transition skin, which is available via IO integration, but all of the functionality I'm showing you is available in the base Zynet templates. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my Zynet system through the web browser. And I'm also going to mount my server volumes on my desktop. So I'm going to log in here with my username and password and just show you what's going on on the file system. Okay, so on the file system, you can see I have a pretty standard folder structure. And in here, I have lots of folders. And inside those folders, I have lots of different um, documents, images, videos, and all types of assets. One of the most common feature requests for version 17 was that people wanted to have the ability to navigate in the web browser the same way you can in the finder. So for example, using these little drop down arrows, I can sort of drill down to the files that I need to get to. So from the web browser, if we go to that same area, you'll see that we can do exactly the same navigation process where we can nav navigate very quickly and very easily using the turn down menu items. Once we're into the area that we want to see, let's take a look at the actual interface itself. Um, so Zynet in version 17 decided to make the interface a lot more user friendly and it was also designed to make it very easy for people that haven't used the system for a while to be able to log back in and still use the functionality with no problem. So next to all of my assets here, you can see I've got some, some, some options. Um, and if I click onto the actual image itself, it will take us into the new media viewer. Now the idea behind this view is that if you look at an image, a document, a video, it doesn't matter, you always get taken to this same look and feel. On the left hand side are the features that are available to you. So you can see here we can use the annotation tools, uh, we have the containing documents feature, which shows us all of the documents where this image has been used previously. Uh, we have the custom order button where we can repurpose that asset into a different uh, format, a different um, resolution, and we can download it to our desktop. The info button gives us all of the information about the actual file itself, and detailed history gives us lots of information about what has happened to that file since it arrived on the Zynet server. And if you go down into that, you can also see who the user was and from what IP address and the date and time that they accessed the file. Metadata. Um, metadata has been stored in this panel on the left-hand side here, and basically, providing you've got permission, you can sort of change and edit the metadata from within this window. The other thing that's also been added to this version is the ability to put a, a begin and end date on a file. And if that end date expires, it will automatically time out the asset. And that feature is called Asset Timer. <clears throat> Some other options here, we have versioning. Um, and we'll talk about that in another video. And we also have the ability to zoom in on files as well. So that was an image that we just looked at. Let's go back and take a look at a document. and let's open up an InDesign file. Now with an InDesign file, you can see um, we've got multiple pages and we can get to those other pages just by clicking or swiping if you're on an iPad. And again, because it's a document, we still have some of the same functionality available, such as the annotation tools. Um, the things that are greyed out here, these are basically features that are either not relevant to the document type you're looking at, or they are uh, or you don't have permission to be able to use them. So again, we have the info panel. Um, linked files. This is a feature that's always been available in Zynet, but this feature makes it a lot more interactive with the page. So for example, if I want to find out all of the images that are used in this particular document, it will actually highlight the image on the page where it's being used. So you can see here I'm looking at the bottle, I'm looking at the mango bottle, and if I want to get to that, I can simply tip on the arrow and then I can download the file or custom order it depending on what I need to do. Um, the other features in here, metadata, it's exactly the same as with the image, 
But on document formats, you can also request to pull out additional information. So for example, I've asked it to display all of the fonts that are being used in this InDesign file and all of the uh, color swatches that are being used inside that document as well. So just a few little extra features you can get with a document. Um, pages, these are all the pages within the document. So you can see here we can actually select a different page and use that as the default preview. Um, you, you now have that um, functionality available. Text content, this is a really cool new feature inside Zynet version 17. If you place an InDesign, a Quark, a PDF, um, a Word, Excel, PowerPoint, HTML, um, or Photoshop and Illustrator documents that have text on a layer, Zynet will extract that text and store it within the Venture database. Not only will it store it, it will also make it available for searching and it will also allow you to be able to see where that text is being used. So for example, in this InDesign file, I can see that that text is being used in this text box right here. And if I tip down on that, I can also get to all of the text and I can even click on this little pencil icon and do a text annotation right there in the page. Um, just to show you that versioning also works on documents, you can see I can have access to previous versions of this document and promote them using triggers and actions. I will show that functionality in a separate video clip. So that was a document. Now let's go take a look at a video. And you'll see that here I've got lots of different video formats. If I click onto one of these videos, again we're taken to this view. And again we have features that are available to us. Because this is videos, we also have the option to download in different video formats. The other thing that I should mention on the navigation is that along the top here you have the navigation bar. The idea behind this is so that you don't need to use the back button within the web browser. So from here you can see exactly where you're navigated to within the system. If I click on that it will take us back to the folder or the area that we select. At the very end of that breadcrumb is the last function. So the last function I had was to be able to get back to the top level. If I had executed a search I could return to my search results by clicking on the button there.